everyone so we just got two dollar tree one dollar tree maybe we'll go to more than one we'll have to see how much time we have and i have my happy planner here and i just want to show you what i'm going to be looking for inside of dollar tree to see um what kind of stuff i can find to create my own planner for this year so let me turn the camera around and i will share with you what my happy planner um inspiration is here is the happy planner that i had in 2019 2020 i think yeah, 2019, 2020. So if we open it up, you can see the cover on the inside. So this is one of the things that I'm going to be looking for at Dollar Tree. I'm going to be looking for some gift bags and then I'm hoping to laminate them to sort of um, look like a cover to the Happy Planner. And I have the Happy Planner hole punch. So I'll be able to actually go through and punch out, after I laminate it, I'll be able to punch out the holes and then use the rings that I already have. At least that's my hope. Um, I'm also hoping to use my Cricut Joy as well to maybe add some um, fun lettering on it. And then there's a section for each month. So I think I'm going to be looking for some tabs as well, things that I can use for tabs. I'm gonna be looking for something to create like a whole month. There's a year at a glance section and there's a month at a glance. And then you can see like each week is separated into three se different sections. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking for stuff to create these like dividers and then maybe some tabs and a cover. Too small, but maybe this side would work. That's almost like a perfect size, right? Yeah. And then if I wanted like a cover that has all the hearts on it, it actually would work really well. Well, you could get two pages. You could get like four pages out of this one if you wanted to. There's the Hello Gorgeous and then I trim it out to be that size, right? Mm -hmm. And then I laminate it. I wonder. And you hole punch it. Yeah. Hi everyone, so it is the next day after I went to Dollar Tree and found some great stuff to create a planner with. And so what I thought I would do before I started working on the planner was share with you everything that I found. I found some really great gift bags and I also found some other items that I'll be able to use inside the planner. I'm hoping that this works out the way that I'm thinking it's going to, but it's possible that it won't. I don't think it hurts to try. And you know, the main reason I wanted to do this was because I was looking on so many different planner websites and trying to find the perfect planner for me and I just have so many different things going on that I want to keep track of and nothing really fit just quite right so I decided that I wanted to try to create my own and I don't know I'm hoping it works I have a vision for what I want it to look like and I hope that it's gonna turn out the way I want it to but we will have to see inside of this Aldi bag I have a ton of stuff that I'm going to use for the planner I think I'll share with you the bags last and then I will share um, some of the other items first so I went into Dollar Tree with the cover of my happy planner from 2019 2020 and then I also went in with one of the dividers this is the hole punch that I'm going to be using I got this at Joanne fabric a couple years ago it's perfect for the classic size happy planner so and this is the classic size punches stuff for planners of this size so I went into Dollar Tree with these two items so that I could compare and see mainly for the gift bags and for um, to create the cover and the dividers um, so I went in with these items to, to compare the size. So the first items that I found are these sketchbooks and I wanted to use these sketchbooks to be the paper for inside of the planner. The next thing I found are these little notebooks and what I liked about them is that they seem to have like the happy planner rings on them. I've never seen anything like this at Dollar Tree. I compared the space between these rings to what um, is on the classic Happy Planner, and it seems like they're the same exact space. It almost even looks like the holes are even the same size. It's like the same cutout. But I think these really look like identical to Happy Planner rings. What do you guys think? I think these look exactly the same as Happy Planner rings. I should have some, maybe right here. These are the rings that originally came with this planner, but I ended up trading it out for some metal rings. But these are like, exactly, these are these are exactly the same. The heart might be a little bit more narrow on this one, but they look almost exactly the same. So what I was thinking about doing, I was thinking about actually taking these rings off and using them to create my planner. I think this is really cute and like the little pages inside of it are pretty cute too. And they had two styles. So the first one is this pink one and it says wild at heart and it has the pink rings. And then the second one is this floral one, which is really pretty and it has some of the blue rings. All right, so now onto my favorite part of the haul, which is going to be all of these amazing gift bags that I found. So the first one says made to shine. The next one says pure joy. I think this would look really nice as the back of the book 
or um, a divider just because it doesn't have any words on it. I was also thinking that if I really wanted to customize it, like if I really liked this pattern and I wanted to use it for the planner, I could even go through and use my Cricut Joy machine and then add um, some lettering to it. I feel like these are almost in the, like the same color scheme and I feel like they would look really nice together in a whole book. These next two definitely go together. So the first one has this like blue aqua color, a white, and then a pink. And then it also has, I want to say it's like a silvery gold kind of shiny metal um, material on it. This one's just so cool. These are all beautiful like rainbow colored bags and I just think that this would make a really fun planner all together. Next one I found is also a possibility for a planner cover. It says hello gorgeous. So I wanted to pick up several just like simple patterns that could be used for dividers for the planner that could be used um, you know just to decorate maybe create some tabs for the planner. I found some bags with white and navy stripes and then it has like a silver gold kind of pattern throughout it as well. So then I picked up four of these gold and white bags. Finally, I also picked up some of the Valentine's Day bags and I don't know exactly what I wanted to do with this. I just thought that the, the glittery hearts were so pretty. And then I found some of these. They just have like a, some simple hearts on them. I mainly picked them up for these two. I mean, there are so many different options. I wonder if even these polka dots, are these silver? It's really hard to tell in this lighting. You know, I could even use some of these polka dots to go with it. That could be really pretty too. All right, so I have everything that I need to start working on my planner. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to first try with like a sample page. Good morning, everyone. I am in the craft room today working on my Dollar Tree planner. And I wanted to show you what I was able to do last night. I went through and actually cut out one of the bags to just sort of see what it would look like to laminate the bag and use the Happy Planner hole punch and see if it would work. This is the first one that I tried and I actually really love how it looked. So I actually went and I took a planner cover from the classic size happy planner and I just sort of put it on the bag and then traced around it and cut it out so I really like how this looks I think this actually looks really professional and super cute let me know what you guys think um so this was just a sample. So yesterday I shared with you all of the different gift bags that I found at Dollar Tree that can be used for the planner. And I finally decided which bags I would like to use for the front cover and the back cover of my planner. So these are going to be the two bags that I use for the planner. I really love how this looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the classic size Happy Planner cover and I'm going to sort of use it as like a stencil um, on the front of this bag and then I'm going to trace around it, then I'll cut it out, then I'll put it in a laminating sheet and actually put it through the laminator, which I have heating up right here. All right, so I'm going to move the camera and we will get to work making this planner. So I'm going to take the planner cover. I'm just going to sort of look at the pattern and see where I want to create the planner cover with. Then I just have a pencil and I'm going to trace around it. I'm going to trim this one out. So I just did like a rough cut of the bag and now I'm going to cut a little more closer on the sides. That is gonna look so nice as the back cover of the planner. Oh my gosh, I love that. So I'm just gonna look and see if there are any pencil lines. So I'm just gonna repeat the same process with the planner cover. I'm going to do now is take a laminating sheet and you can really buy these anywhere you can buy them on Amazon you can buy them at Walmart or any local store or any um, store that sells like crafting stuff um, you can also buy them at Aldi I'm going to start with the planner cover because why not so let's see so you open up the laminating page like that and you pretty much just take it and what I do is I just sort of 
put it right toward the top like that and then you just close it like that and then you just put it through the back of the laminator and it does everything for you It looks so nice laminated. I love, this is gonna just be the perfect planner. Now I'm going to do the back cover. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut around and just sort of make it have a little, a tiny bit of an edge around the outside of the planner. So now I'm just going to trim off the extra laminating um, material. I just went through and trimmed up all of the extra laminating sheet from the front cover and then also from the back cover. What I'm going to do is use the Happy Planner hole punch and I'm going to punch out the holes that the rings will go in for this planner. I have them opposite, right? So I have the front cover like this and then the back cover opposite. I think it looks good. So fingers crossed it'll be able to get through all of this. Here we go. The moment of truth. Three, two, one. So lesson learned, I think I got lucky this time. Um, it really did not want to punch through two of these at the same time, but it did work. So whew, that was nerve wracking. But yay, now I have, you can see, now I have all of the spots punched for it. Hi again, everyone. So I am continuing to work on my Dollar Tree planner. I actually went to Dollar Tree and I bought some of these planners and I really like them. They're just really simple. Um, and they have just sort of a simple layout to each month. So what I did was I took the planner apart and I it's just one solid sheet of paper. I then cut it in the middle. If you look on this page right here, the line where I cut the pages apart is, is literally right underneath this piece of lamination. And so there really isn't a lot of excess room. So I wouldn't have been able to use the Happy Planner hole punch to go on this part of the page the page because then I wouldn't be able to use that much for planning. What I did was I went through and I took another one of the gift bags that was in the same pattern as the back cover and I'm using that to sort of create like a page extender. Um, I also think that way it'll be easier to remove the pages because this is laminated. Hello again everyone. So it's a few days after I started the process of making my very own planner from Dollar Tree products and I decided that I would like to share with you what it looks like right now. As of right now it's finished for one category if that makes sense. I'm going to explain it a little more once we look inside the planner but it's finished for one category of my life that I want to organize. So I figured I would share it with you right now just as it looks now and I'm going to be adding things to it throughout the year. I'm going to be adding different categories probably over the next couple days just so I can really 
really start using it. And yeah, so I wanted to share with you what it looks like now with one section of it complete. And right next to the planner, I have some Dollar Tree pens. They're actually the Crayola brand. I think that one is a felt tip kind of pen and then the other is like a gel pen. So I plan on using these in the planner. So I just have them sitting right there. And they're also organized in a Dollar Tree container as well. So here's the planner. I absolutely love how this looks. And this is the front cover of the planner. And then this is the back cover. And I think they just complement each other so nicely. And I used some Dollar Tree rings that I found on some notebooks at Dollar Tree. Just took some of the paper off of the notebooks and I was able to use the rings. And I really like how it looks with the blue. I was hoping that I could use some gold rings that I had already had from a previous Happy Planner. But those rings are much larger than these and I feel like this is a better size for this planner. So I actually flipped a couple months in because I'm already doing some planning for YouTube which is really exciting. And that's what this section of the planner is going to be. Planning section for YouTube. I took one of those planners from Dollar Tree that um, they sell many of them right now and I actually just took it apart and I was able to cut the pages in half and then I added this laminated sheet right here in the middle and it's actually the same material as the back cover. And that I did that mainly because I wanted to be able to use the ring system for this and I didn't think the paper was going to be strong enough for that, but adding the laminated, um, adding the laminated piece of the gift bag worked really, really nice. So I really love how this turned out. <laughs> 